Hi guys, in this video you will learn how to start receiving donations with DStream. DStream is a universal platform for receiving donations and outputting the entire spectrum of donation alerts to your stream. You can receive donations via many payment methods including cryptocurrency which is instantly converted to fiat. We accept cards from all over the world. PayPal works for all of our users including users from Russia and also donators are able to save their cards for more convenient and faster payments in the future. DStream is fully compliant with the payment card industry requirements. Payouts of the received donations are instant to any bank card. You can also choose to withdraw your funds to your EU bank account. We regularly share promo codes with discounts of up to 100% on fees on our social media. Attentive and loyal users can reap additional benefits from this. Our team is always willing to discuss individual fees and terms with content makers depending on different factors. Also, the service provides the best protection from donation chargebacks. DStream is always on the streamer's side. And now let's move on to the service itself. To start working with the service, you will first need to register. You can also log in via your social media accounts. If necessary, you can add other social media information by going to the Integrations tab in your profile settings. Next, you should verify yourself in order to be able to withdraw funds from your account. This is standard practice on all platforms as mandated by law. We also advise you to enable two-factor authentication to further protect your account from malicious activity. Simply follow the on-screen instructions. In the Donations tab, set the minimum donation amount and the currency, and enable any other features such as passing on transaction fees to the donator, media sharing, and pre-moderation in case you want to manually check donations before broadcasting them to your stream. Speaking of which, DStream has a built-in profanity filter to prevent unwanted text appearing on your stream. Next, let's get acquainted with one of the main features of DStream, the Overlay Manager. The Overlay Manager is a complete what you see is what you get editor. You are presented with the layers, the settings for each of those layers and the preview where you can see the final result. It is recommended you add a screenshot of your stream as a background to visually control the placement of your alerts. After that, let's add a widget to the scene by clicking the corresponding button. At your disposal you have various types of alerts, statistics widgets, donation goal bar and much more. Let's start with the donation alert. After adding the widget to our preview, we see the standard alert with a few text fields. Naturally, every detail can be edited. You can see the newly added widget in the Layers tab. Here, you will see all elements you add to the scene. Once you select the widget in the tab, you can see all the settings available for editing. Every aspect of every single text field of the widget can be edited. You can change the font, add outlines, colors, shadows, animations, transparency and color for the shadows or any other element and much, much more. All necessary tools for text property editing are also present. Text alignment, style, text case, to display text in all caps for example. It goes without saying that you can add your own alert notification sound, enable message voiceover and select a voice that you prefer and set the volume for each of these. Simply put, this is heaven for anyone that wants to personalize their alerts. And by the way, you don't have to use all the information on the widget. You can move, delete, add text and information as you see fit. You can also add pictures and animations, GIFs or the more modern format of WebM with sound. This way you are in complete control of what is displayed and how. There are also guide points just like in any other editing software to help you align your elements so that everything looks neat. You can also move every element by pixel, which will make any perfectionist happy. If you want, you can add donation variations, for example, for different donation amounts and create a completely different alert for those specific amounts, or just visually spruce it up to give it a sense of a tier system. You are free to add extra text or pictures to the variations. The layer system allows for complete creative reign over your creations. I made this alert as an example of what is possible with the overlay manager. From an artistic point of view, this is not impressive, but the ability to create a new variation without much hassle and place a new element in a different part of the screen is very cool. Also, if you want to make a second widget on the basis of an existing one, you can simply copy it instead of creating it from scratch. And now it becomes clear why this approach to an overlay manager is a great solution. You don't need to figure out everything out from the beginning and guess whether the alert will fit this size and the resolution. Everything is done easily in the visual editor with a bunch of features. 
All other widgets work exactly the same. You decide which information you want to display, how you want to display it, with which picture and where it will be placed. In the same way, you can style your sub goal, donation goal, media sharing, display information regarding the latest donations and followers. You are only limited by your imagination, since to each widget you can also add any text, any picture, animation and create your own style. After you are done creating your overlay, click launch and you will see the step-by-step -step instructions of what to do next. Copy the overlay link and add it as a web source in your broadcasting software. This is a standard feature and this is how it looks in OBS. Add a new source, select browser, insert the copied link, type in the dimensions 1920 by 1080 and that's it, the overlay with all its widgets is ready to go. In the future, if you change something in the overlay, it will automatically update in OBS as well. No additional actions required. However, you might need different alert placement in some of your other scenes. This is not a problem either. You can create many different overlay variations in the manager and use them at the same time. Each overlay can be completely different depending on your artistic needs. We highly recommend spending some time with the overlay manager and learn it to fully utilize its potential and create the best, unique design for your alerts. Speaking of alerts, the only thing left is to add a donation button under your stream or simply share the link in the description. You can get your donation link by clicking the launch button. This is the link people will follow to send you donations. If you don't have a beautiful donation button to place under your stream, DStream has you covered. We offer you a number of sets to use for free. Simply go to tip buttons in the menu and download the one you like. Soon we are planning on adding individual creators pages that will allow you to customize your own space where you will be able to share information with your audience such as your stream schedule or your partner's banners. Now that we've got that out of the way, you can test your overlay before going live by clicking the start test button on top and selecting the widgets on the right. When selected, the test alert will appear in your OBS scene. Now it's time to launch your stream and start receiving donations. To control all the events on your stream, you can go to your dashboard where you will see all your donations, subscriptions, followers and etc. in real time. You can open this list as a separate page or even add it as a user browser in OBS. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact our support team and we will get back to you as soon as possible. We aim to become the number one donation platform for content creators and we hope for your support.